Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I am from Western New York. Yesterday I forgot to say that, and Marnie Kido, Kido Crochet, I don't know, Marnie something, <laughs> it was Mar Marnie, she's the um, Kido Crocheter, I don't know her channel name, and Blue Bike and Doyle noticed that I had forgotten to say it. Today I remembered because they had pointed it out that I forgot, and so I won't forget today. I might forget tomorrow, but I'm not going to forget today. Well, I was going to talk about a few. I brought my notebook in again because this is the only way that I find that I guess I can do much better with keeping on track because I do fall off the track every now and then. Okay, and what I wanted to talk about is the really there's a challenge every day when I make a video and that challenge is finding a good title I use TubeBuddy but sometimes TubeBuddy because I'm just using the free version sometimes it decides that I've had enough help and it gives me the heart eyeballs and they and whatever it, it just it, but because it wants me to buy it buy it I'm not going to buy it I'll just wait and a day or two and then it comes back and it says okay you can have a few more freebies and so that's what I do I don't know how you find titles for your videos I try to use stuff that I may have said in the video or and I, it always pertains to whatever I'm talking about okay and I got my motorcycle inspected yesterday I did ride it but I didn't take a video of that I am um, really getting nervous when I'm riding it. And I have the extra wheels. So those of you that ride with two wheels, oh man, you are so brave. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm like Chicken Little. And there was a big semi behind. I could see the semi coming. And it was behind Jim. There was a car in between, I think. And then there was, there was me. Then there was Jim. Then there was a car. And then there was the semi. And I could see the semi coming. And I thought, oh gosh, I'm going to just pull over to the side. So I pulled over and, the, and let them pass by. And I'm glad I did because I had, I was, every time I go into town, I pray that the red light's not going to change, that it's going to stay green so I can go through. Because the starting up from from first is scary because you got to make sure you let the clutch out and gas enough to keep going without chugging because I could chug real good and um, then to go into second because my my foot is smaller than most people's feet my toe to lift it it's not way on my foot like some if I had a bigger foot it would be easier I think and Jim said that if I drove more often he would get me the heel toe kind of shifting but I don't drive often enough to to bother with that so but once I get in the second gear the third and fourth and okay. fifth <laughs> I have to count one two three four when I get out of first I just count one two three four okay I'm at the top I've got all my gears that I'm gonna get um, that I did yesterday and um, today oh gosh today we moved the chicken fence twice <laughs> I, so I, I wanted to give the chickens a different area because I was saying that they probably have eaten all the bugs in the area that they are. So I wanted to move the fence. So we moved the fence and, the, and then I used some chicken scratch to coax them out to where I was going. It didn't work so good. And then we had some that got out of the fence like because they're little they can get out anyways and they're trying to get back in the way they usually get back in and of course they couldn't because now the doorway was changed. And so I said to Jim, I'm not, I don't think they're happy and I don't really like it this way either. So what did we do? We put it back exactly like we had it the first time. Pretty much. It just maybe has moved out just a tiny bit in spots. So they've got a few extra bugs that they can find. And the birds were so happy to get back to that pine tree. They liked that. And thank goodness Emily came over because have you ever tried to put ants back in a box? <laughs> That's what it's like with the chickens. You, you start to corral some of them in and then they'll go another direction. And so then you go that direction and then the others go another direction. And so it, you, it's lost. So that's what Takes we did. two to three people. To, to crail them in, and it, it worked. Thank goodness, and she was there. 
Okay, now I talked about the chickens, so now we're going to put a little video in so you can see the bluebirds again. So I'm going to put that right here. Nobody's home. Let's see what the babies look like. Look at them. They're getting so, so feathery. Oops. The mama's nowhere to be found right now. Looking good. Take one more look. They're getting bigger. They're all sleeping like little sleeping beauties. They're they're um, turning more and more blue. And um, I also wanted to tell you that to Tuesday. We enter phase three, which is meaning that next um, Tuesday, next Tuesday, no, the fifteenth. Yeah, now, it's coming. Today's Thursday or yeah, whatever today is. is. Okay. <laughs> so it's Tuesday, the Tuesday that's coming. I lose track of days. You don't <laughs> lose track of days. You have Friday tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I only know it's Friday when he doesn't go to bed real early. I go, oh, it must be it's Friday, because I do. I get mixed up, and thank goodness for. Jackie, motorcycle mama, she always tells me enjoy, to have a good, whatever day it is, she'll tell me, have a good day. Thank goodness she does that because one day I had um, not read her comment yet and I was marking my chicken eggs wrong. Then I read her comment and I thought, gosh, is today another day, whatever day it was. And so I had to change the date on my chicken eggs because I mark them every day when I bring them in. Okay, now we're going to go into phase three, and that means that the restaurants, you'll be able to eat inside the restaurants. They also told us that we could have lawn sales now, but there's rules for that, too. So we'll see what happens. Um, I was saying to Jim that, that because my fence charger isn't working like it should, that maybe we should get another fence charger. We did try to buy a part, but the part didn't fix the problem. So the birds are still getting out, those little ones. They, if they need to be zapped once or twice to maybe stop doing that. Although, Silver, Dorothy, and Brownie, Brownie, and Rosie, and, well, not the rooster. He won't go oh. out. Will still be going out because they fly up. Brownie flies up on top of the roof and walks to the edge of the roof and flies out. Um, silver goes up onto the dog kennel panel and so does Rosie and the little rooster goes through the fence but once the fence has got shocking where it can't go through he probably will stop going through I would think and Dorothy she can fly up on top of the dog panel and she sometimes will fly out and I go Dorothy what are you doing out here and then she goes right back in she doesn't come out very often it's rare that she comes out I also wanted to show you these are things that I have been doing instead of watching videos. I did watch some videos, but I get so busy that I don't even want to take time to click to put another one on. And so I will show you what I've been doing. Um, yesterday I mentioned about baskets out of plastic. This is out of plastic, and I put apples in this one. Today the um, town was giving away boxes the of... The school. The school, yeah, was giving away boxes of food and my daughter called me so I went up and got some and they had apples and onions and carrots and a cabbage I love cabbage and um, potato and I gave to Emily I called Emily up and told her come and get well I'm also where's this oh I was watching whoops I don't want to undo it it's not done I was watching Pamela the adoring crochet and she, she's been wearing this really cute little thing on her head. They call it a do-rag, but you know, from do-rags from years ago, or looked way different. But she was make, she had one, and I asked her how it closed, and so I'm making one too. I love it, and and it's not done yet. I got to go a little more, but it will. It, uh, I'm I'm right here. I as you can see, I've got to go down again, and. That basket that I made for the washcloths, 
Well, I decided I want to use up some of my, let's use the different hook. This one I'm using an eye hook for the hat, for the do-rag. For the basket, I'm using a uh, F hook, an F hook. But anyways, I'm making another basket, and it's going to be out of all the odd colors. So right now, as you can see, I ran out right here. I ran out with um, the blue, and I had to put start the green. And so, and just, I'm using whatever colors I have that are left over. And I've been knitting some, some um, washcloths, but I'm going to probably crochet a few. And... I wanted to show you too that these this is more plastic stuff you can like this this could be a kid's hat actually or a bowl whatever you want it to be and this actually has a jar inside that was a bubbler for like fermenting vegetables it's got the it's got a there's the cap and I just need to put the bubbler on and put the stuff inside and this stuff Believe it or not, was the VHS tapes. I just used it to wind it up. And um, this one. And these, this is another basket of baskets. But this was like a door hanger thing where you just put it on the, and have a notebook in there. So if you go out and you want somebody to leave you a note, they can leave you a note. That's what, that's what these are all. Now, when you say plastic, what kind of plastic oh, is these, that made from? These were made from Walmart bags. And some of the stores that give you a brown bag, I was using those. And some of the stores that give you a, a blue bag, I used those so I could accent it. And this black here was um, a garbage bag, actually. But it's Walmart bags, mostly. And it's the way you cut them. And then there was... This, this could be like a cozy for a, a mason jar, but you could make them shorter. This was, I made it really long. This was, I don't know what I was making. I was just crocheting and crocheting and crocheting. And you don't know when to quit. <laughs> so that's what this was. And so I just folded it over. And it made it like this. It's, I think they're, they're, they're just fun to do. And the cutting of them is so easy. And I wind them with the pull thing if I'm going to wind them, but usually I just, I crochet a, a bag and then I will cut another bag. I don't usually wind them because I like to just keep going. And then, of course, baskets and more baskets. I put a basket inside a basket, but these are just baskets. And the handles, I made this handle different than some of the others. I like this one better where you, you it's a wide handle, but then I closed it up and made it like a round flat handle. Well, that is what I've been doing. Oh, and did I show this one? I probably didn't. Nope. This one I, well, there's another one inside there. This one was a plastic container, but I didn't like the plastic container. So I put, whoops. So I put a, uh, one of these, I put it in a, in a bag. Apparently it's getting too big. Anyway, whoa, it doesn't want to stay. But it, it's it's a bucket inside of a bag. So you want to take your garbage out, go with your garbage, come back and put it back in, or whatever you want to put in there. I guess. that's Maybe that's good that it does that. Well, that is everything. I'm all done. And I think that was everything that I wanted to say. That I didn't. No, no, no. Check your notes. I know. My notes are... I did, I did fine with the notes. The notes are all there, but it felt if like... If they're readable. It just, they're readable. <laughs> it just feels like, you know, when you're just about ready to say goodbye, there was... I had another thought somewhere, but I didn't write it down, so it's going to stay somewhere. Somewhere. Where? Because I forgot. I forgot. Another sign language thing. We can do a little signing every now and then to help you. <laughs> Well, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye.